from a student point of view, you want your mark back fast. That's very important. And when I have a big stack of tests, or I did last year, had a big stack of tests that had to get passed around physically uh, between eight TAs, we had to finish with that stack and then pass it to the, to the next TA, it would take sometimes two weeks to get a mark back to the students. Uh, with CrowdMark, all my TAs were marking simultaneously. And you can see these marks filling up on that, uh, on that marking grid, I guess. I could see it from my, my desk, what was happening. The TAs were getting it done. I said, let's have a deadline. Let's try to get this done by Sunday. And this was the, the test on, on Thursday. Uh, so the Friday was spent scanning it in. April scanned it in. Then Saturday and Sunday, my TAs, wherever they were, one of them was in Nunavut doing some research, but he logged on, got his marking done. Everything was done by Sunday at around 6 p.m. And by Monday morning, the students had not only had gotten it marked, but they were able to log on and actually look at where they lost marks. And they could still kind of remember. Because if it's Monday, you could still kind of remember doing the test on Thursday. But if you did a test two weeks ago, it may as well have been infinity ago. You can't really remember what you were doing. And you no longer care is the main thing. And uh, so this is actually turned into a teaching moment for me because they can remember what, what they did, why they lost marks, and that's something that they're never going to forget. Oh, okay, I got this wrong. You know, I had my physics mixed up and, uh, and lost some marks, but they're not going to forget that in the future. And whereas, you know, if it's two weeks turnaround, there, there's just not that opportunity.